Happy Monday, second graders. I hope you had a great weekend. And we are going to start on chapter six and figure out why he is sneezing so much. So this chapter is called Booger Brigade. You guys said, I don't have a cold. Carlos said to the screen, so how come my eyes are still watering and I'm a choo sneezing? The class looked out the window. Carlos's cells were attacking strange looking particles and their bus was in the middle of it. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. Your immune system is under attack, Carlos wanted to tell him. Again, Arnold groined. What are those particles? And why are Carlos's white blood cells attacking them? asked Wanda. Dorothy Ann turned back to her tablet. I've gone through every single cold virus, she sighed. And nothing matches. The bus gave a sudden jolt. Hang tight, Yordi called out. We're on the move again. Why do you think they're on the move again? Maybe so they don't get attacked again. That's my guess. The bus cruised through a tunnel. It was jam-packed with liquid and a tangle of webby fibers. We're now entering the mucous membrane, Miss Frizzle announced, also known as Booger, Booger Boulevard. Also known as Gross, Arnold muttered. The particles crashed into the cells. The cells popped open and began to spray. What is that stuff? Tim asked. According to my research, Dorothy Ann said, eyeing her tablet, what the cells are spraying, it's called a histamine. Histamine? Ralphie asked. Histamine makes you sneeze so you get rid of invaders. Dorothy Ann exclaimed. Just then, T cells began to carry the particles through Carlos's bloodstream. T cells to the rescue, Miss Frizzle declared. Wahoo! And the winner is, Ralphie announced, Carlos's immune system by a nose hair. Oh, that's why he's been sneezing so much. Not so fast, Ralphie, Wanda said. She pointed out the window to a flood of particles. The bad guys are back. There are too many for the immune system to take away. Soon, Booger Boulevard was bouncing with pesty particles, but the kids in Miss Frizzle's class refused to let the invaders win. Time for action, you guys, you already said. We said we'd help Carlos, so let's do it. Yeah, Keisha said, but how? How are they gonna help him? The kids watched as cells attacked a particle. This cell was special. Dorothy Ann, Wanda said, what kind of cell is that? According to my research, Dorothy Ann said, that's called an antibody. Can you see it? The word antibody? What have we been learning in reading and writing? What kind of text feature is this? It's a bold word, good. Well, that antibody has an awesome weapon, said Keisha. It looks like the immune system can tell who the bad guys are, Tim said, by those marker things on them. The class watched as the weapon on the antibody and the marker on the particle slid together like matching puzzle pieces. That's how the antibodies grab the invaders, Dorothy Ann said. So those are antibodies, and that's the particle marker. So the antibodies kind of look like a circle. Let's help the T cells catch those particles and take them away, Yordi said. How do we catch them? Wanda asked. We can't just grab them with our hands. I can des design something to grab them, Yordi said, but first, I'll need to get a better look at those particles. They're moving around so fast, Keisha said. Right, you already agreed. So to get what I need, 
We have to catch one, Wanda said. So that is the end of chapter six. And I'm gonna go actually into the index and look at the word that was highlighted. If you guys can remember, what was the word that was actually bolded that I talked about? I talked about the word antibody. So antibody is what they're trying to figure out in Carlos's bloodstream. So I'm, I want you guys to tell me a definition of antibody. So I'm going to read the glossary. And so once I'm done reading the actual definition of antibody, I want you to draw it on the Seesaw response page. Okay? So an antibody is a protein that your blood makes to stop an infection that has entered your body. So here's an example. Some people that already have had coronavirus, they have antibodies and they can have antibodies up to a couple months. So you can just draw little circles on the page and tell me which is the antibody and which is the infection and which one is the block, the invader. So an antibody.